Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Biology and of course, I'll continue our discussion on the plant kingdom or the kingdom plantae, right? We have talked about the talophytes, we talk about the bryophytes, which are the non-vascular uh, plants uh, and then we talk about also now today the pteridophytes okay the, they are terrestrial plants pteridophytes they are the they are one of the first foremost terrestrial plants that have vascular water tissues okay so as you can see today we are going to talk about pteridophytes and after we have talked about pteridophytes we are, talk about, we are going to what, take questions from the O3 school jump up to show you that okay you need to what learn all these things we are doing and the reason why we are breaking them and giving the, giving you notes is because in biology you need to read your notes over and over again Again. So, as you have this now, make sure you have the notes on your books and make sure you go over them again and again. Then you answer questions from what? From the application. Okay? Know that this video tutorial is brought to you by the O3 School Jamba. It is all you need to succeed in your exam if you want to be fair to yourself. Okay? It has all the past questions for all subjects inside one app and some wonderful features designed to make you perform excellently well. For example, we have the classroom feature where you can study lecture notes and after studying lecture notes, you take tests under those lecture notes according to the jam syllabus so that you are able to finish your syllabus before your exam begins. Also, we have the question search feature where you can search for question according to what topic. So after conquering a topic, you can search what, uh, a, a search for questions on that topic that Jamba said before and then you answer them. That's how to use past questions. And also, you, you now have the BOM, the UTME challenge, a challenge that will conduct for all students that are writing Jam for a particular year. You compete with your mates, you win prizes, Apart from winning prizes, you get to have jam, set their question, all right? And then you are seeing your score released every week till one week to the main exam because the mock is every Saturday by 10 a.m. So as you are competing in the mock, all right, you are seeing your score every week. Say for the first week, you score 202. In the second week, you score 220. In the third week, you score 250. In, in the fourth week, you score uh, 270. Okay, most time, the average of this, your mock what scores is what you actually score in your what? your main exam. So do not play with your with your, OT, with your OTME challenge on the OTD Schools app. Okay, please make sure you download the app immediately now and make sure you activate it so that I can have full access to it. To activate it's just 3,000 Naira as at the time of shooting this video. It will definitely increase in the future. Alright, so click on what activate after downloading the app from Play Store and then you can then what look at the top. If you look at the top, you see where they wrote buy activation key. Alright, Click on buy activation key. You see three options for what for activating what your app. You can pay by transfer. You can use your ATM card to pay online. That one is automatic. What uh, automatic activation? All right. But in case all right, you are making transfer or you are paying through POS or somebody is paying for you. All right, just send the receipt of that payment or snap the the teller given to you by bank or snap the what the receipt given to you by what by the POS agent and then send to this number on WhatsApp zero nine one two one five one five two Four six. All right. So once you send the receipt to this number on WhatsApp, you get an immediate what response, and of course, your app will be fully activated for you. All right. So please do not sleep on the app. Download the app immediately now from Play Store. All right, and make sure you uh, you start what practicing immediately. All right. Now, like I said earlier, I said pteridophytes are the first terrestrial plants. Okay, to possess vascular what tissues. They are the very first terrestrial plant to possess what vascular tissues like the xylem and the phloem. For what? For water conduction and what? And for conducting of what? Of what? Manufacture what food? Okay. So they have specialized tissues. Okay. For what? For the transport of what mineral uh, water. Okay. So that is that. So their body is differentiated. They are not like the talophytes. Okay. They are not like the talophytes. Their body is differentiated what into what distinct parts. Okay. Like of course we have the roots, we have the stems, and we have what the leaves. All right. So this is this is what uh pteridophytes. Okay. They are body. They are not like the talophytes. Their body is differentiated what in the what distant parts like the roots, the stem, and what and the leaves. All right. So now examples of ferns. <laughs> examples rather are ferns. All right. We have what Marcelina. We have horse tails. We also have some other examples. We have like terries. Okay, it's, a, it's another example of what of a, of a pteridophyte. We also have a equi equisetum, equisetum. Okay, we also have a selegina. Okay, so those are all examples of what of uh, of pteridophytes. Okay, ferns, marcelia, hostes, terries, ecosystem, selegina. They are all examples of what of pteridophytes. But 
the most important ones, the most important ones, okay, or the most dominant ones are what? Defense and the hostess, all right? So mostly in jam, they usually ask you mostly about fence. That's why I'm going to majorly focus on what? On defense in this what? In this class, okay? So now, defense are seedless, okay? They are seedless. They, um, vascular land plants, they are seedless vascular land plants that possess roots. They have roots. They have stems, they have leaves. Of course, they are vascular because of, obviously they have what? Uh, the xylem, they have what? The fluid, they have specialized tissues for the world, for transportation of what? Mineral and what? And what? Water around their world, their body parts. Okay? So they are seedless. You must note that they are vascular land plants that possess what? Roots, stems, and leaves. And the stem of a fern grows horizontally below the ground. The stem of a fern blows, grows what? Horizontally, horizontally horizontally below the ground and is referred to what? To as rhizome. To as R-O-H-I-Z-O-M-E. Okay, the stem of a fern grows what? Horizontally below the ground and that stem is referred to as what? To as rhizome. R-O-H-I-Z-O-M-E. Okay, the stem of a fern. Okay, it's called what? The rhizome. And there are leaves. The leaves of what? Of the fern. They are called what? The fronds. F R O O N D S. Okay, so their stem, the rhizome, they are what leaves referred to as what to as the fronds. All right. Then the life cycle of a fern has two different stages. The life cycle of a fern has two different stages. We have what the diploid sporophyte, diploid sporophyte, and the haploid gametophyte. Okay. Well, so that means that what they undergo what alternation of generation. Fens undergo alternation of generation, right? The life cycle of a fern has two different stages. The diploid sporophyte that produces the spores and then the haploid gametophyte that produces what? The gametes, all right? So it means that what? Fens undergo what? Alternation of generation. You must take note of that. All right, now, in fens, the multicellular sporophytes, the multicellular sporophyte is what is called, commonly referred to as what? To as the fern plants. That means the, the most dominant phase, okay, of a of a fern of a fern is what is the spool of the sporophyte. The most dominant phase of what of a fern is the what is the sporophyte. Okay, it is what is commonly referred to as what as the fern what plant. Okay, so the multicellular sporophyte is what is usually regarded as what as the fern plant. Okay, it is therefore the dominant plant. Okay, like I say, the more dominant phase of what of a fern. Okay, the multicellular sporophyte. We'll see from the past question right now where a question like this what was set. Okay, so um, in ferns, the multicellular sporophyte. This is ferns. In ferns, the multicellular sporophyte is what is commonly referred to as what as the fern plant. It is therefore the dominant plant. On the underside of the front, that is the leaves. Now, I told the world that there are leaves are the first one was the front. On the under, under the leaves, right? On the underside of the front are sporangia. You find the sporangia, and within the sporangia are what? A spore producing what cells. Okay. Under those leaves, you see what some uh, you see some spores. Okay, maybe like seed, 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 seed. They are not seed, I'm just maybe the around they are. Okay, so you see them under what? Under the fronts, which is the leaves of what of the fence. Okay. Now we say what on that side of the front are sporangia, and within the sporangia are spore producing cells. The sporangia are usually in cross in clusters. The sporangia are usually what in clusters referred to as what the sori. The sporangia are usually in clusters and refer to them as the word, as the sori, S-O-R-R-I, S-O-R-I. Now, some fans have a covering over the sporangia. Some fans have a covering over the sporangia and we know, we take that as what, uh, we know them to be called what, the inducium, inducium, okay? So, some fans have a covering over the sporangium known as what, as the inducium, okay? There are so many other things we need to learn here. All right. We also know that what the gametophyte of a fern, the gametophyte of a fern is a small, a very small bisexual heart shaped plant that we call what the protalus. Okay. The gametophyte, the gametophyte, the gametophyte of a fern. The gametophyte of a fern is a small bisexual plant. It's a small Bisexual plant, uh, bisexual heart shaped plant, heart shaped 
know the shape of an heart, uh, of a heart, right? Heart shaped what plant? Call the protalus. Okay, so the gametophyte of a fern, all right, the gametophyte of a fern is a small bisexual heart shaped plant called what the protalus. And of course, the protalus is green. The protalus is green. Protalus is green and bears the male and female sex organs. And bear the male and female sex organs. Okay, so the gametophyte of a fern is a small bisexual heart shaped word plant. A small bisexual heart shaped word plant called the protalus. We call the word the word the word the protalus. You must take note of that. And the protalus is green. The protalus is green and bears the male and female what sex what organs. So and this uh, male and female sex organ they are attached to the ground. They are attached to the ground by what we call what rhizoids. They are attached to the ground by what by rhizoids. All right. So that is that. That is enough. If you know this, you already know a lot about what. Pteridophyte, and you know a lot about what fence, and you can answer any question that comes under what fence in what's in your exam. Okay, so this is all, all you need to know about what the what uh, the fence. Let me go back again and say the gametophyte of a fence is a small bisexual heart shaped plant, a small bisexual heart shaped plant that we call the protalus. All right, and see the protalus is what is green uh, and what bears the male and female sex organ, they bear the male and female what sex organ. Okay, and they are attached to the ground by what. By rhizoids. Okay, so that is that about what the fan. Now we are going to take what practical questions when they are. Let's practice. That's why the app is a CBT practice app. The OTD school jam app is a CBT practice app. Okay, you are practicing as if you are studying for your exam or as if you are in front of your computer that main day. Okay, so the app is also available for what for for your for your P, for your PC if you want the software version. Okay, it works perfectly well on the phone. So if you have an Android phone, it works perfectly well. All right. Also, the iOS is under development. It will soon be released. So just keep one what download the app on any of the platform and what start to practicing today. Let's take questions from the app now. Take questions from the app. All right. And of course, uh, uh, this is a question. I'm opening my app, my app right now. All right. Okay, we have what a question here. It's a 2010 question number four. It is being displayed on your screen right now. They said the dominant phase in the life cycle of a fan. The dominant phase in the life cycle of a fern, it was here just now, they do cleaning. The life cycle, the dominant phase, the dominant phase is what? Is the multicellular what? Sporophyte. It is still on the body yet. See, the dominant phase in the life cycle of a fern is the word multicellular what? Sporophyte. It is what is called what? The, it's what that, that is what is usually referred to as the fern plant itself. Okay? And it is the dominant what plant. So, with that now, our answers, our question, our options A was gametophyte, B was what? Protalos. It is not protalos. Okay? It is not what? Protalos. Look at where protalos came in here. We say the gametophyte of a fern is a small bisexual heart shaped plant. It is the gametophyte that is what? The small what? Bisexual what shaped plant. Okay? That will call what? The protalos. Okay? No, we we'll already know about what? The protalos. Now, our options uh, A, the dom uh, A, gametophyte, B, protalus, C, sporophyte, D, anteridium. Anteridium, no, so not over anteridium. We talk about anteridium when we talk about what? Bryophyte, all right? So our answer there will be what? Will be the sporophyte, option C. Now let's take another question. Uh, this is a 1997 question, 1997 question number eight. Okay, 1997 question number eight. It said, in fence, the sporophytes, I'm talking about the sporophyte now, they say it develops from a haploid zygote. The sporophyte develops from a haploid zygote. A, B, reproduce accessually to produce spores. C, is haploid and dependent on gametophytes. It is not haploid and it is not dependent on gametophytes. They say what is diploid. Okay, so you call what diploid what sporophyte. It is diploid, as you can see here. The life cycle of a fern has two different stages. The diploid sporophyte that produces the spores and the haploid gametophyte that produces what? The gametes. Okay? So our answer there was what? Option what? D is diploid and it is independent of the gametophyte. It is independent of the gametophyte. Okay? Now, um, all right. Um, this is uh, 
Okay. I think we have one more question. Okay, that is all I uh, was able to gather. All right, so please go to the app. There are thousands of other questions on the app. Just go to the app what and what start practicing what today. Your exams are around the corner. You do not have time to waste. All right, please download the app, activate it, start practicing. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you watch. You subscribe to this channel. Subscription is free. It's just to what let you know whenever we release a new video. And of course, make sure, make sure, and make sure that you are sharing this video to your friends, to your loved ones, to your groups on Facebook, anywhere. Keep sharing with this video and I'll see you at the top. See you in the next class.